production is part of the Game Fire Network. Netcast for gamers by gamers. Welcome to Game Fire. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes, right here on the Game Fire Network, www.gamefire.com. Stop by, drop us a line, post in the forums, post on a blog, won't you? We are almost live from the year 1944, right here. Tales of Heroes, your weekly Company of Heroes community show, is back with another video replay review. This is number 59. I guess you could call it 59B, since our last our audio show this week was also a, uh, a, a video show. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, let me introduce myself. I am Adam Abridger Ruzo. With me, as always, is my capable co-host, Vittensby. Welcome to the program. It's always swell to be here Ooh, this week. Mixing it up, huh? <laughs> mixing it up, but you Sneaky. didn't mix it up this time. Capable was what you used last time. so Yeah, but this is the video yes. show. I don't mess around. <laughs> <laughs> ah, very good. See, all right. Uh, quick music trivia update. Asur got the. I was very surprised that anyone got this because I was just very surprised. Uh, the name of the band was uh, Silver Sun Pickups, and the album is uh, Carnivos. Check those guys out on uh, on the tube, so to speak. Uh, new music trivia. Old old band. This album came out like seven years ago, six years, se seven years ago now. Uh, the first word is the, and the second word starts with an S, ends with an S, and the album is three words. First word starts with an I. Second word starts with a T. Third word starts with an I. I T I. So we'll see if anyone can get that one. They've uh, they're pretty popular, became kind of mainstream rock and roll band. Uh, had about three pretty good albums. Some were better than others. Um, but yes, on to the match. All right, have... that uh, wraps up our show. Thank you for tuning in to Tales of Rock and Roll, Legends of Rock. See you guys. Le oh wait, Legend of the Croc. That oh that's right. We're doing Tales of Heroes. Okay, uh, welcome again. We are at the five second mark, and we're going to get it started here in five. Four, three, two, one. Unpause. Okay, so we have uh, here today, hopefully, a better match than yes, last week. Uh, I should say we had a very funny, fun time last week doing a match between two people who are obviously very, very new to the game, or just uh, you know, being crazed by the birds that were going off in the background. Um, and so. We decided to have a slightly better match for you today. We'll see how this one goes. It is actually Rogers and some bloke versus uh, two other people that they found online. And it, from, according to them, it's nuts. So we'll see how this one goes. If you remember correctly, Rogers and some bloke were on our audio show two weeks ago. Yep. And if you and if you take control of the commentary, I'm going to shut up the bird. And ah, yes, I'll do it nicely. Don't worry. Bird. No birds were harm were harming the making of this podcast. All right, so this is the first time I think we've featured St. Hilaire, uh, an old map that I would literally do not want to ever play on for no particular reason. It, it reminds me of the oldest of camp fests, the ancient COH Beta camp fest. Uh, we do have Rogers, let's see, playing as Rogers, and some bloke playing as Mild Concussion against Tuxel and Cool, or Cooley. I like Cooley a little bit better. Um, it's double Wehrmacht versus Brits. Brits starting off uh, as my phone rings. Sorry about that. Uh, Brits starting off. Looks like they're doing typical lieutenant opening. We got a bit of spammage going over to the right early on. Always important to kind of control the, the city, which uh, popular strat is always to go there, but um, I know that Whenever I play, we try to go the other way, straight up the center, flush them, and if you get their plus 10 fuel in the center, and then can creep around and cut off the strat point where that MG is, um, that's a real easy way to completely cut them off from the entire uh, city of the map, and uh, it throws people off because they're always expecting you to go to the city, so that's something to take into consideration. But for this game, it looks like point. we have a real traditional start. Another very, uh, we actually got two machine guns facing off in the middle here very shortly. Uh, now the HMG on the American side is likely going to be able to 
do more damage, but the question is, what is it going to be shooting at it? The first damage it did was actually to the Pioneers there, so it looks like the MG42 got a quick edge early in the game. We'll see if a sniper comes up for either side to help out. Uh, we got the British sniper that probably can help out here if he's going to use it. I think, did he? No, he didn't use it. He just did a lot of damage on that machine gun there. Finland, apparently, is they're playing guys from Finland. They're like, oh my god, we're playing against guys from Lagland. There you go. <laughs> Very, uh, very, very powerful win early in the game for the Americans here, and the British, rather. Now, some people say that this favors Americans, some people say it favors Axis. Um, a lot of people say because of the early mortar, that's why it favors Americans. And we have an injury squad down in the center. Yeah, very poor just saw micro that. and uh, squad awareness, shall we say. Uh, by Rogers uh, early on. Um, some people say it favors Americans because of early mortars. Uh, I always thought it favored Axis, but maybe that's just me because it's easier for them to get snipers and uh, and machine guns. And their machine guns have wider arc of fire, and as you can see, the center is pretty much locked down. On the left-hand side, um, I, with standard starting positions, um, you know, south of that VP, especially in the old days, it was really easy to wire there. Slap an MG in the center like they did. Throw an MG on the right, maybe an early bunker, and you've got a problem. As a, as <laughs> so all right, sniping I, in the middle, trying to take out the machine gun. There, we got one down, two down. He's in trouble. He's got to get out of there right now. Is he packing it up? He's packing it up, but is it going to be in time? Sniper's going to be. Oh, oh, and oh. retreating into the sniper's fire, but it sniped something else. Ah, oh, too bad. I mean, good. I mean, you have the Wehrmacht versus American advantage going up against each other. You have the mortar, which is now being fired upon um, by the Volks. The Volks are about to get owned if the guy's not... There we go. Um, and then you have close. the sniper advantage, so to speak. Um, it's easier for them to kind of get MG, sniper, Volks, etc., the combined arms approach uh, on the right. So there's that little dynamic. Before, I don't know, you've played this map a lot. I remember it was in COH beta. Before you came back, I was mentioning about uh, the different strats that you can do, how you can rush the side and take control of the city, or if you want to play really aggressive, although it's risky, you can charge up the center, take their plus 10 fuel, and then creep around and cut off that strat point behind yep. that completely cuts off the city. Yeah, I, I was know, watching that. Been... Upgrade to grenades. Great move there, because if you're taking the city, rifle grenades can be very, very useful. Yep. And unfortunately, he uh, charged early, a little too early here. That machine gun's taking about one one guy's dead every time a grenade barrage goes off here. So it's about as effective as, as a sniper at clearing buildings, pretty much. Yeah, this is why I absolutely hate St. Hilaire. <laughs> if I'm playing as Axis nowadays and there's a British player there, I can see I would really hate St. Hilaire because there's nothing you can do about the trench that's there. Shouldn't have gone up in the first place, but I think, yeah, I think that that's a little ridiculous. Um, we did have a patch come out today, Bridger, or <laughs> sort of came out, which forced me to reinstall my game and the server was down for like six hours so that a patch could actually not come today after it had come and worked perfectly fine for me and like everyone else I knew um, but then again I guess not everyone's a forum goer and apparently the problem was uh, if you automatically downloaded it from the server it didn't automatically patch um, so you had and to then, and then more problems were found I think somebody mentioned the vampire half track placed in your territory will cut off all resources Everything. to you from the entire map, which is, I'm going to guess, not working as intended. And the uh, the lieutenant veteran, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, when he gets veteran one, oh, it gets the heroic, heroic charge. charge. It's permanent fatigue bug, which I don't know about Ah, uh, yes. Well, yeah, remember we talked about that in the audio show. They, they were going to fix it so that fatigue worked uh, correctly, Proper. and uh, yeah, it didn't. <laughs> Turns well, out. Well, I never saw. I didn't see a replay of that, and the guy didn't post it, although he claimed. Um, I'm curious as to think if I, I don't, wouldn't call it predicted because I guess I would say that I have balancer's intuition about what's kind of screwy with this patch, but I, I don't think Panzer Elite can really win in a in a one v one on most maps against Americans. I think in Ingeville they'll still have a chance. 
um, just because it's so damn wide open. But I really would speculate that uh, Americans are going to be unbeatable against Panzer Elite. Wow, the tables have sniper. turned. Sniper's got level one vet, but he's got a little tiny sliver of health. I think it's awesome that he's on the roof, though. That, yeah, that was that's kind of cool. nice. That, that's some cool building things that you don't necessarily see unless uh, unless trenches actually allowed you to get sniped from them. That's one patch change I do miss, you know, because it's not yeah, that here. Is a, it is a little ridiculous. He's trying to snipe. It's not going to work. You can't do it. <laughs> not you can't do, do it, it Hans. <laughs> So we have grenadiers coming in. Oh to, no, uh, is he targeting? Yes, he's targeting grenade. the sniper back there with his rifle grenades. And it overshoots, but... It did some it damage. Did damage. But again, I think the trenches are just too powerful against this. I mean, it's, it's like twice as strong as building armor when it comes to stopping shots coming in. He's got two machine guns firing at this trench almost non-stop this whole freaking game. Here comes a second. Oh wow, actually the trench got destroyed before the people in it got destroyed by the small arms fire. That seems really wrong to me. <laughs> well, shit happened. I guess but so. Uh, this was a rather action-packed opener, I must say. We have Storms and Grens, you know, charging up the oh, center. Oh, yeah, look at that. Trying to take out the mortar. He's going to get it, too. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to reman it because he'd lose his entire Storm squad, and that's probably not a good trade. Storm for mortar. Interesting to see a double... Oh man, that that oh. Shrek's blood. Uh, he made it. He made it. They had to reload <laughs> or cool down or something. Interesting to see double tier two. Um, I guess somebody doesn't want to go tier three. This is was always a tier three map to me. There's a lot of fuel. There's a bunch of munitions too, but always felt to me like it's a, it's a tier two. Tier Certainly, three the map. city would help. Uh, Stugs would work fairly decently in the city uh, with very difficult. To flank, for example, you've got a lot of places to put machine guns to keep things from flanking around and hitting your stug from the back, be they, you know, uh, sticky bombs or, I don't know, whatever. Pretty much just sticky yep. bombs. <laughs> Early Pumas are, are pretty decent. Uh, one of the things, I mean, it's good that he's getting a half track because that's the main reason why I don't feel that Tier 2 is as great, at least for both players to go. I don't think one player going it is is bad but the long supply lines um, and it's really important I think to try to get a forward HQ which the Axis has gotten uh, some bloke yep. and Rogers have not um, I think that's really crucial to have uh, some sort of forward HQ there yeah. we do have Rangers uh, charging up Rogers uh, Rangers charging up the center Rogers Rangers sounds like some kind of new I don't know World War II sitcom I don't know is Rogers he gonna get hit by his own mortars here he might <laughs> Thompson's upgraded, going in for the kill. Oh, oh no! Half tracks trying to speed out of there, hitting the machine gun in the process. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad pathing over there. Meanwhile, the Volk squad is getting obliterated. There it goes. Oh, and the machine guns got set up in the wrong direction. That's bad news. Nice. That's pro right there. Tuxy. Yeah, that that was part of the bad pathing right there. As the half track tried to get away, the machine guns got in its way, and yeah. Yeah. I don't necessarily want to blame the Axis player for that. He just wasn't babysitting his Flam and Warfare on the right. Uh, oh, really? Hopefully that'll, that'll oh, really? Up. Now there's an answer to all your problems when it comes to trenches, I think. Oh, my! Direct <laughs> shot from, what was that, a 25-pounder it sounded like? Yes, indeed. Oh, man. And I now they're going to overshoot. Get it in the face. Sniper slowly walking away. Actually, sitting right in front of that building where he where he put his his Flammenwerfer was really smart because anything that would gonna hit it would hit the building instead. I think the sniper just took it to the face. Which I don't sniper? See him the Axis sniper. Yeah, the Axis sniper that was by the forward HQ. I think he just got hit by the twenty-five. I think he, no, I think he's in the building. There's another building there that's garrison now that there wasn't before. I see. Oh, that's a machine no, gun. He could empty. be in there too. He might be I in think, there. I think no. I think. Are I you on the Axis killed. side? Can you see their... I'm their... on the Axis side, yeah. He got killed. There's, I can't see him anywhere. That's really weird. He was totally walking away. He was completely out of the line of fire. I must have missed it. Uh, it just it was a 
wildly inaccurate 25 pounder. <laughs> I guess so. We do have commandos, which is very hard for Wehrmacht to counter. Not uncounterable, but pretty hard. I think commandos a lot of people, and rangers. Yikes. A lot of people underestimate they'll go for uh, pumas. They'll go like pio spam to tier 3, which has become kind of popular again. Um, but uh, that aside, a lot of people kind of I think <clears throat> discount the Puma and the kind of the Puma role in the late game. And if you already have tier three, why not just try to get a Puma to to try to take out the commandos a little bit? I mean, your infantry is not going to really do a great job of it. So I think uh, that's something that I when I see like people saying, well, you know, you can't reliably counter them. And well, what about kiting with Pumas? I mean, it's not that hard. Piots are good, but they're not like that good, and if you got to be smart with it, of course. Bundle nade going off in the center. Looks like uh, inspired assault. A the double vet that? sniper in the center. Uh oh. Uh oh. That is assault. Oh, it flattened oh. the sniper and the ranger squad. Very nice assault from the blitz tree. Wow. Three grenades landing right on target. Now that's a good example of why you should use the assault grenades. In, uh, in in close, because if you use them at long range, they're inaccurate. He was very close when that happened. But now his storm squads are all getting in big trouble. Did he just flatten those guys? Oh my god, I think it must have just been the flames. But wow. Yes. It looked like they got flattened by the half track, but that can't be right. Yeah, the Flamen Warfare doesn't look like too bad of a counter for uh, the commandos either. It looked like it, they just another. came in and roasted three of them instantaneously. Yeah. We have a Tetrarch Glider. Yeah. Coming in the center, it landed and has like literally three percent health. That's because I think it. it ran into a building in its landing cycle. You see that the building got destroyed. Yeah, I don't know if I really like that feature. I think it <laughs> should be a little less realistic. No, it's strategic. Than that. You gotta choose your landing field. All right. So right now, the allies are sitting pretty with the victory points, but for a while they've been against them. So uh, now they're just getting them back. So they've got a big disadvantage to make up for over the course of this time now. You, know, you wonder why there's maps like St. Hilaire that have five Ooh. VPs. And, you know, no one ever really complained that, oh, no, it's a five VP map. But the second you put four, four VPs on St. Hilaire, like, imagine taking out, like, the far, the middle far right VP. Like, how gay this damn map would be. It would become like everything else. And I don't know why they still make, uh, they still, oh, wow. Flamin Warfare just got owned yeah. by the Tetra. Tetrax doing major damage. Good it has a pretty strong guns. gun. Yeah, if it's upgraded, it's got a pretty decent gun. I don't know why maps like Hinder Dam. I mean, Bow, I can kind of deal with, but Hinder Dam is just, wow. Those VPs are, it's like Bow 2.0, as you would probably say. Yeah. I don't know why Hinder Dam's in an auto match and why, you know, still Samoa Ingeville's the best, the best. Uh oh, maps. uh oh, Tetrox in trouble. There it is. Three Panzer Shreks open up and it's gone. It's gone. That was a pretty good run for the Tetrox, but he uh, got a little greedy there. Just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, now, but he's got one Grenadier squad going up against two Ranger squads here. He needs his backup, but it's way the hell over there. Whee! Grenade going off. Oh, but here is a good old Panzer IV. That could certainly tilt nice. the tide here. All he's got is Rangers, and with a lot of infantry support, the Panzer IV could do something, unless, of course, it turns its back to them. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. The rear armor hit was what really that killed was... it right there. Now yeah, it's in trouble. Yeah, that was not the best usage. And now of, artillery coming uh, down. Commando. commando already would be my guess. Yeah, that looks about right. Yep. He's driving back through it. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're trying to chase him with the... Fire up. They want to kill it with the bazookas. Yeah, Not going to happen. Oh the, sh oh, the Shreks. And two Shreks dropped. And wow. the... Uh, wow. The Storms got obliterated by that. He did get his... His... His Panzer four out, but wow. Raj, pick up the Shreks, man. Pick up the Shreks, man. I don't know. Can Rangers pick up Shreks when they've already got two... Bazookas? I'm pretty sure they can pick up. They might be able to pick up one more. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, they can pick it up if you click on them and you can hover over and it. Whoa! Nice Stuka barrage. Oh wow! Yeah, look at that. Austin on the field. 
I miss the Austin. Now that's interesting. That they got they got all cool. kinds of rangers, and you choose a light armor anti infantry tank. I don't know. That seems like a bad idea. <laughs> Austin's used to be really good at countering rangers. Uh, DX10 water. <laughs> 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 Listen, I saw it. Climb in there too. the ravine. Uh, weird, you know, we have two 17 pounders on the right side of the city in the strangest of placement. I, I honestly can't understand why you would ever place two 17 pounders there. Are you seeing this? Yeah. That's, uh. I think he just wanted to protect his base. He's like, screw the Americans. They're not getting this this base over here. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to have to ask uh, some look about that. It's just a bit like. Why? <laughs> All right, two Oswins. Okay, okay. I can see where this is going. A couple Oswins will wipe out the Rangers real quick. Quick enough to maybe not lose one? I don't know. Two is better than one. Two Oswins. Uh-oh, they're building the Yachts. trench. They, they got it finished? Piots. I think they did. They're going to get in there. Oh, that's bad news. Piots. Oswins not going to be able to do too much to that trench. No. Okay, no. Turning around. Bad idea. This turning around is a bad idea. Micros. It, both of their tank micros lackluster, to yeah. be honest. It's not just the pathing, it's the turning. Here comes a Stuka. Coming I mean, in. Look at this. Look. I don't know. No comment on the tank micro. Nice Stuka is going to do some damage to those uh, piotted sappers. Okay, I'm going to comment on the tank micro. God, <laughs> please, you know. Why continuously turn yourself around? And you notice, like on the Panzer Force, where it got off like one shot, and then it was just like the turret turning constantly. And the same thing with the Oswins, like reverse, click, drag, reverse, click, drag to reverse, click, drag to reverse, click, drag to reverse. Hell, even just click right behind your tank, it'll reverse pretty well. Or you can do that, but remember the old school way of doing it. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have oh, jeez. Why are you charging <laughs> the trench with the Ostwins? Oh, no. Axis, you were doing so well. What is this? Click, drag, reverse. Click, drag, reverse. Click, drag, Listen, he wants reverse. to get out of there full speed, okay? He's hitting his own guys with this artillery, though. We do have the 75 or 76 millimeter up gun on the Sherman, I guess, in prep for a Panther. Um... We yeah, still got a Flamingworth on the right. I'm feeling maybe these guys are taking the wrong place. Maybe they should be attacking. No, attacking the right's not going to give them anything either. They got a lot well, of stuff got, in those buildings. They got a Stuka, but they lost all their infantry. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Here comes the half-track for the middle. They're just trying to roast these guys out. And if nobody pays attention, they yeah, are going to get toasted. Look at that. Already gone. Here comes the next barrage. They're not paying attention either. Yeah, they're, they're, they're looking getting... over here. What do we got going on over here? Panzer IV in big trouble. Yeah. And now he stopped it. Like they're Send not the gonna. Send the again. That'll do the job. <laughs> okay, never repair just out of the fog of war of your enemy. Always go a lot farther back. He's finally retreating those guys. Oh and, and man. When you, what's funny is when you get down to that much health, you gotta think to yourself, damn, should I really repair this? Or should I just pray for a bunch of 5% bugs? <laughs> you ever feel that pressure when you take it down to like shit health? And you, you're thinking like, hey, maybe I should repair this. Maybe I should just count on the old 5% to bail me out. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the great tank pathing we've come to know and love as the panther decides, I'm going to do a little gardening while I'm here. I don't like the placement of these hedgerows. Does that have heavy crush? Didn't it just heavy crush that? Yeah, it heavy crushed it. Didn't they change that? Panther... Panther now has heavy crush. All Wasn't of a it sudden. supposed to? Didn't they change that in opposing? Fr maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking that that's what I wish they did, and maybe I didn't think they did. And now they did. I don't know. Up, oh, up. Oh, Rangers lost both their bazookas. Sitting on the ground. Oh, they picked one up. Okay. Uh, looked like there was little stick figure arms on the ground there for a second. Ow! Pinocchio lost his arm. Uh oh, uh oh, commandos with Panzer Shreks. Oh no! Oh god, double Panzer Shreks. And oh, Panzer Shrek and a bazooka now. Oh my Guys god. are on fire, they're all dying. They're dying. Oh, they're gonna have to retreat, but Wow. Three two bazookas and a Panzer Shrek. That's brutal. I don't know, did they pick up all three? I thought they only got two. Yeah, oh, look at them. Geez. Two, two Shreks and Yeah, that's harsh. I'm very glad to see veterancy. Veterancy. 
Yeah, for uh, that could definitely the old, help the. Old world. Uh, now for that that Stuka world, needs to Western launch because it's been folks. sitting there. I know that cooldown's got to be down. Oh, two <laughs> Panthers out now. That could that could be enough. Tuxie's the only one building tanks here. I don't get it. Oh, there's Cool. Cool's got the the, the Stuka and the Panzer IV. Okay, let's see if they can pull this one back now. And I'm not really sure why some bloke has his HQ truck and his field support truck in the same territory, but I can understand from the way that the game played out initially with uh, the push in the center that that would be be a bit risky, but uh, certainly at this point in the game you should think about moving that. Well, he doesn't really have that many places that give him huge advantages. I mean, the plus fives are the only places he can go. The medium point they have an OP on already. All right, here's the big push in the middle. Better than nothing. And he's got There's his some more turned. of that fabulous tank micro. Okay, Panther's taking almost no damage from the front from the bazooka. That's good. Keep it right where it is. You don't need to charge really far forward. Okay, now yep. you need to push forward. Don't reverse into the... Oh, that's bad. Nice. Stuka barrage going. Yeah. Through. Oh, wow. They got the Sherman. Those Rangers still have just a bazooka there. Panther's actually doing the job. Oh no, he's backing into. The... Oh boy, that was a good. That was a good win, right? Not, not. Well, that, well, it was a good win until he lost another Panther four. And another Sherman coming to challenge the Panthers. It's going to lose wholeheartedly, but that's okay. Yeah. Here comes the Allies right now have a serious lack of, of AT option as uh, some bloke brings up the commandos with that we just saw a minute or two oh, ago. Oh, wow, look at lots of PIs. Let's see how those do. Yeah. Oh, no. Buttoning, that's definitely good. I'd go for a Firestorm right about now. Oh, yeah, if they had that, wouldn't that be Oh, nice. nice. The MG, uh, the, uh, what should we call that? The uh, Curse of, of St. Hilaire, where that MG, for some reason, has, like, insane Ooh. suppression range in that building. Which building is one Oh, over here. V1. Uh-oh. Where's it coming? It's got to be coming here. It's got to be coming down there. Oh! Nice. They knew about that six hours ago. <laughs> it's like, hey, it's like, it's like back at the HQ. Hey, uh, Patton, the uh, V1 just landed. Is that the one you warned me about yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> that tree uh, looks like he got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Looks nice and conservative. Cut on the side, you know. If you get a good business, man. <laughs> it's a business haircut. <laughs> it's like propaganda war. <laughs> <laughs> Only more hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Sheik? What's that? Uh, she doesn't. She doesn't care. The bird doesn't really care about propaganda war. Okay, he's repairing. I, go, I like that. Okay, I'm liking this. He's Looks repairing like his tanks. It looks like the uh, axes are starved for, for infantry, but... Oh, yeah. That's just a little so, bit. And they're building... Okay, now we got stuff coming out of the Kriegs and another thing coming out of Panzer Command. He could really use some, some storms or something right now. Yeah, my, my new Smurf will probably be two Kriegs left. Uh, so, or two weapon support centers You should for just that. name Better? yourself 1148. <laughs> you got to make that yeah. before this show goes out because everybody else is going to steal your idea. Yeah. I'll do zero one zero one four eight. <laughs> we'll see who notices you playing a game and they'll be like, "Oh my God, the curse of the something crocodile!" All right. <laughs> wow. Where's that landing? Okay. Oh, Thank God that's middle. a twenty-five pounder Symbolokes building there in the center, and not uh, not another seventeen. <laughs> Well, I mean, look at the position that this 17-pounder didn't give him anything useful. If he'd build a 17-pounder over here somewhere where he's building the 25-pounder maybe a little farther forward, then he would have been in a good position to use it. But uh, at this point, that one's not going to be used until after he loses the 25-pounder. It's not protecting anything anymore. I wonder if you can delete your own emplacements because it's taking a pop cap and... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't, don't understand why he built that in the first place. There was never a tank that ever made it that far i mean the yeah. guy got stuck in a in a in a ballerina's twirl about 17 times in the center but yeah. never never crossed that um never so i guess right now Rubicon. it's just gonna be axis tank veterancy really versus oh here we go knight's cross that's a good idea for infantry that's what they that's something they definitely could use nothing's gonna stand up against those rangers and commandos better than knight's cross 
Rogers being a little sneaky and doing it Bridger style. He's uh, scouting with a sniper. Where's that? See that? Back in the oh, base yeah? by the plus five munitions. You like that, huh? That's my apparently my yeah. tactic. Look at these tanks coming in. Bridger touch. <laughs> yeah. Those Stukos are pretty fierce, I must admit. Yeah, the Stuke has put the herd on over here. You can see the fire still left by him. Now he's got Knight's Cross coming back to recap the vic. Oh, Lord, more artillery. He might lose those Knight's Cross. That would be very uh, he painful. should laugh at that. It's not going to do anything with Vet 2 on there, please. Your breaks. Just stay there. Laugh. Look him in the eye and Ooh, laugh. actually did a little bit of damage. Use those little two white hit. dots on your tank as eyes and <laughs> stare that... 25 oh no, just down. run with the Knight's Cross. Look at the, for God's sake, he's only 0.5 health. Run the fuck away. Don't go. Was, oh, don't go. Cap and points, you can't. Okay, there you go. He's returning. Yeah, this is the, uh, that's the problem why they're, uh, they lost all their infantry. That's why they have, like, I give it a 5% chance of actually winning this game at this point. Well, Great. if they, all they that's build right now is infantry, then then they'll be able to make a decent comeback. But that's what they do need right. to do. That's hopefully uh -oh, what they're Uh-oh, setting up radio triangulation on the left. Nice. nice. That would be uh, elite that's... tanks, ladies and gentlemen. That could certainly help against the Rangers. One of them's got elite tanks. Yeah, this is the time where you want like a One's 17 pounder a little bit in the center. VPs are uh, even and out. It's yeah. 261, 269? The Axis had a VP for a little bit, but now they. Oh no, they still do. They've been able to stop them from taking it back. I see. I see. What do we have way over here? Oh, he's got an HQ glider way the hell back here. Look at this. He's building <laughs> Piat commandos to do some kind of super sneaky attack on Ostwin. Oh, he's using he's using his sniper to spot for artillery here. He had, uh, I think that might have been 17-pounder, or maybe that was, um, not 17-pounder. Maybe that was, uh, I'm drawing a blank right now. Uh, I wasn't looking oh, he this. found the sniper, the poor guy. At a small uh, stake distraction. Uh, let's see. How are those ribs, by the way, Bridger? Oh, it's good. Good ribs. I make I make excellent ribs, I must say. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll both probably die of a heart attack before we're forty, but that's okay. Red middle meat middle VP end. being recaptured here. That might happen though. Drop the uh, pants. Oh the no! Oh, lost a ranger oh. squad. I think that was Ranger Squad. No, Commandos, that looks like Commandos yeah. with Panzer Shreks. Wow. <laughs> now he just needs to get the Knight's Cross to pick up the Panzer Shreks. Get two Knight's Cross pick up. That would be awesome. Old school ownage. Yeah. Oh, man, he's right next to the uh, the radio triangle. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Is it revealed? Can he see it? It is revealed. I don't know why it's not firing on it. He's dropping artillery on his own radio triangulation. Oh, no. He got it. He destroyed it. Oh. Uh, that was pro right there. <laughs> oh no. He was gotta, using his radio <laughs> triangulator oh, to spot for artillery and then neglected check out, to check realize. Check out uh, Cool's base. We got a Tetrarch popping in. <laughs> what? What uh, is this? What is this? Oh no, the Knight's Cross, he never reinforced it. It's about to ta- Oh, Come it's on. about to die. You got, him in, you got it in you. Run him over. Run him over. Come on. Oh, it survived that? Wait, it's not going to get killed by that turret gun, is it? Because that would be funny. Yeah. It was! Oh, it's done something! <laughs> Meanwhile, we have artillery coming in. <laughs> oh, man. That's probably, that's probably off-map howitzers here, too. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, come on. Don't pull back all your tanks because of one little Tetrarch. Give me a break. Listen, Look at those, those things are tough. Dun, they can dun, super micro. Dun, 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 Look at that. They can dun, evade dun. a panther shot. That was that was super awesome. Did he? Why did he upgrade the Tetrarch when it was you know behind enemy lines, soon to be destroyed? He still thought it was oh. a good idea to upgrade. He's not. He's not even microing at this point. Is he gonna if play ring like around the Kriegs yeah. barracks? Ring around the panther. You can't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here, here comes more 25 pounder oh. artillery. Yeah. Oh, did they got what? it? They got it. I think they took out, uh, was that? No, wasn't there a building there? I thought there was. That's a hell of a lot of bunkers. Yeah, I think he took out his Panzer Command. Yeah. Did he? Yep, yeah. he did. Okay, look at this. Uh, that's a lot of pair bunkers in the center. Not a bad idea that? for the number of tanks he has, but still, spend your manpower on nothing but Knight's Cross right now. Forget yeah. Grenadiers. Save up a little bit more and get Knight's Cross. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Commando's on the right. Sneaking into the back area. It's like airborne. You know what's super sneaky? Save up enough, like, a thousand manpower, drop a glider, and then... Did he just destroy the glider? I think he did. No, yeah. must have gotten destroyed by something tiger else. on the field. Ooh. Bride of the fatherland. Where'd he go? Where is it? Where is this tiger you speak? Oh. This game gets a 10 out of 10 for sound for me. There's too many good one-liners in it for uh, for one game to handle. We still have commando... Uh, commando, what you call it? IEDs set up here. I keep wanting to click on this just to see if it'll blow up when I try. Nice! Very good shot. Oh, but look, it doesn't do anything to rangers inside of a slit trench. How is that? Some damage over time. He's probably going to take more damage leaving the trench than staying in it. Holy crap. Yeah, I've noticed there's some, some weird bugs like that. I think the map on uh, Wolf... Wolf... <laughs> Wolf heads it. Wolf haze. Wolf heads it. Oh, it's going to drive <laughs> off the map. There it goes. Wolf. Uh, wolf, is this like whatever. the king tiger that could? What is this? There was a com there was a a captain that took Whoa. literally like a gazillion arty shots to the face and then died. Look out! We got a blitz here. We got a blitz, blitz, big blitz coming through right now. Panther <laughs> driving all the way back into the enemy, trying to crush it. He found an M10, but he's not letting his tank actually get the turret around to shoot. Oh God! Is that a V1? I hear a V1. Where is he dropping it? Is he dropping it on the HQ? Tell me he's dropping it on the armored command truck. With all those guys right there and a Cromwell. Uh, there it is! Over, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Boom! It shaka lives. laka! This it is a lives. huge counterattack. It's still alive, but it is toast very soon. Where's that other? They're going for a base rush! Not just not content enough to blow up the secondary base. No, no, no. We'll send the Panthers in to take out the main base. Wow. That's right. Hit the HQ so they can't call in more rangers. Do it. Oh. What was that? We lost uh, a panther up there, I think. Panzer IV. What are you doing? There you go. You got shot the 25 pounder. Okay, now take out the armored command truck. That's a lot of fuel for him. Oh, boy. Wow. I don't know that it was worth losing all that. He probably should have just taken what he could. But. No. And Panthers, I don't know, I think if you spent his manpower building more Panzer IVs, you might have had better luck against uh, Rangers and such. Uh, they needed infantry. They needed infantry. They've needed infantry for far too long. They've had none of it. They lost all their infantry in the early game. You just can't come back from that on a map that's so damn long like this. you got to have something that's got a little bit of you know, anti-infantry capabilities as well as being able to cap something every now and then instead of this... One suicide squad every now and then to the center to try to decap a VP, which storms are actually holding up surprisingly well. Yeah, I don't understand. They're not even vet, but they're living. Okay, get them out of there. Get them out of there. Just hang on to it now with what you got. Yeah, here comes here comes the half track of doom, the walking Stuka. There it is. Yeah, that's right. Retreat, retreat back to your HQ, which is non-existent. Mwahaha. ha ha ha. Is that an off-map combat group? I think it is. I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, we got an M10, a mortar, and a rifle squad. We haven't even seen any rifles out there. Oh, and an AT yeah, I gun? Knew, I knew something was wrong. I was like, there's no way two Panthers did all that. And then I saw the Vet 3 Tiger, and I said, yep. The, the horse actually arrived and uh, is doing its damage. AT gun. Yeah, I think that came from the off-map combat group, because he certainly doesn't have a, uh, a motor pool. Yeah. This is uh, dangerous. Uh, the Allies have really, despite that push looking completely uh, illogical, actually could deal quite a bit of damage. Yeah. They have. That's a lot of really tanks, have... and they're using Blitz twice now. Yeah. 
They don't have really a good solid AT option on the field anymore. I mean, Rangers will only go so far against a Fet 3 Tiger. And they can't um, reinforce because the HQ's gone. And they can't wait. call in more Rangers. Off map combat group was the last ditch effort before their HQ was gone. Shoot the Rangers, man. That's the only thing holding you back right now. Don't shoot the supply depot. For fuck's sake. Here come the other two Panthers, though. Oh, man. The British player needs to pull out something big here. Meanwhile, we got another Panther coming out. Ostwind and uh, some, some Pioneers in the middle. Vet 2 Rangers on one of them. <clears throat> Vet 1 on the other. And uh, Piat squad. Yeah, Piat, Piat commandos are about to take out the... Uh, unless they get crushed by it. They're trying to stay ahead of it. You gotta shoot off one more shot. Come on, buddy. Do it. There it goes. Why are you shooting the tiger? Well, uh, the two 17 uh -oh. pounders might... Might actually might. help, you're right, yeah. I just saw it doing some damage. They turned it around. Some bloke's gift of foresight. <laughs> Must be it. Here comes the shot from the tiger. Look at this clump. Ouch! Oh, those he bodies! He rubbed the magic mouse and it said, I know in 30 minutes from now that there will be a base rush. You need to build two AT guns on the right-hand side of the thing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Panther it. and Tiger Please about being flanked now by Piats. As We're all hell trouble. breaks loose on the right. Thank you, Magic Mouse. Oh, he lost the other AT gun from a... Was that a, a walking Stuka barrage, I believe. And look and at this. Finally, backs up into the AT. And the second one, wait for it. Here comes the Tiger falling into the same AT trap. Oh, you're right. Wow, look at that. That AT gun's now got two big kills. Yeah, this would have been a great time. Look to, at this! Uh, the M10 is like, I'm so confident I can kill this panther, I'll back into it. That's a great idea. Rogers, oh, you're not some blow. I know you want to <laughs> be with your M10 micro right now, but... Uh-oh, destroyed engine. It. That panther's gone. Didn't pace it. See what happened? <laughs> Pretty sure that they were uh, probably talking over vent or something while playing this game. Probably. So now, they, after they, that they entire base rush, he's got one panther, one panther, one panther, one I think they handled that base rush pretty well, Bridget. Yeah. <laughs> I would have shat my pants, personally. Well, you don't know that they didn't. <laughs> okay. You're right. <laughs> now, look at this. They still don't have much AT on the field. They got frickin' nothing but sappers with piots now. Oh, and they've got, they've got uh, a bazooka, a ranger with a bazooka and a piot, looks like. And still, he's got nothing to repair his HQ. I can't believe it. He can't call in um, pioneers or something. Can his can his teammate repair it for him? I don't know. Yeah, he's got to oh, bring back the sap. Slowly, the AT guns turning around. He's trying to get a handle on that panther. Not gonna happen. <clears throat> I wonder what's gonna finally seal the deal in this game because uh, VPs are running pretty low, and it looks like the uh -oh. there's only there's no AT for what the. What is this? Firestorm? that has got to be an Axis. Oh no, it's just fake maybe. It's just, never mind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the decoy artillery. Was that a dual blitz? Oh, there's the King Tiger. Thank God. Wow, 40 minutes into the game. Yeah, that's that a long time. He must have gone down the whole right side. Yeah. And yet I didn't see a propaganda. Oh no, propaganda's on the left. That's right. They changed it. I didn't see any rocket artillery. I don't know why. Not rocket. Yeah, it's rocket artillery, right? At the bottom of the right. Oh, yep. no, V1. V1. Rocket artillery is on the... On defensive. On Sorry, I was just happy that the 17-pounders actually were had some use. Yeah. And there he goes. All right, now... I think he pushed a little bit too long, but here comes... The four VPs giving him a huge time advantage here. He's dropping those VPs three at a pop, and it's finally going to stop right now. He's got two down. Taking the middle, and oh, here comes the next wave. Look at this. Why is he building so many panthers? I don't understand. A tiger, a king tiger, two panthers, and a panzer IV. That's a massive amount. Well, I guess panthers with the, uh, with the gun on top can't be too bad against infantry. Unless, of course, they're in a slit trench. Then good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Is that falling on wrong? No, no, okay. It was just uh, regular 25 pounders. Careful, Rogers. I can tell that that was a distant cousin of yours crawling in the in the, the dirt over there. One man left. 
He's crawling for there it. There he is. No, no, Rogers. Ah. Your ancestor. You'll never be born. I don't know. I'm making stuff up now. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's still got a sniper chilling over here. You can totally cap that point with it. Except that there's probably a machine gunner in that building. I think oh, Axis got this one locked now. All that infantry's gone. One more ranger charge! Go team, go! Wow, I can't believe they busted through all that. Yeah. There's no way the Axe is gonna win this. There's just no way. There's no way they're not how, gonna win it? How the hell are they gonna win this? Do you see the kind of armor they've got going on with them here? Yeah. Yeah. 17 pounder, finally gonna meet its maker here. Man, vet three for the win. Is oh, the King Tiger's taking so much rear shots, though. It's already down <laughs> to half health. It's just been Rangers pounding away at its ass all it's day long. It's killed one guy. <laughs> nice. Alright, how is this gonna end? 17 pounds. It might be Annihilation is how he's gonna kill the American squad. He's upgrading to forward HQ. Just... <laughs> I think he is, yeah. Right? There it is. To keep It'll himself from annihilation. Finish. Yeah, he's got to got to get that four HQ somewhere. Uh oh, I hear another. I hear. Uh oh, is there a V1 right over here? Oh yes, that there would is. Be that on the oh, right. Yes. Uh oh. oh. Boom! Shakalaka. Oh, uh, that wasn't well placed at all. Ah, so well, it still got the AT, which is really the most important. They're going to fight this off, it looks like. I don't think so. All these guys have to do is turn around and kill that forward HQ, and it's like, that's it. Allied player's done. Or the American player, rather. He needs to they call gotta in... Get a, uh, they got to get the cap off. They got to get the cap off. Oh, of the man, the Storm that's Squad ran easy. right past that IED. They could have blown it up. That might have saved yeah, see, something. Yeah, see, that uh, HQ, glider HQ dropped, or maybe it was a Tetrarch HQ dropped, and uh, nothing popped out. Where's that? Man, should, on the right, where the Rangers are. Hmm. Wait, I was that, oh no, was that a walking the Stuka they just killed? I think it huh? was. Yeah. I'm loving I'm it. Up, <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> King Tiger's feeling a little weak, but uh, somehow the Americans are still in the game. Can't they call in an engineer, like Paradrop now? You would think. I mean, I remember okay, that being well, bugged, where you were you supposed to be able to do that, but you couldn't. Yeah. Look, the sniper yeah, decapped the right side, and he's crawling away. <laughs> still a little buggy. Sniper. <laughs> There's the engineer. Oh no! <laughs> I think that was a sapper, actually. No, it was an engineer. No, it was an engineer. Yeah. I. Wow. I think Axis won this. I think so. I think. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. That that was a hell. Captain a Obvious will come to save the day. No. Yeah. You, you had a lot of tanks and blitz. That was a hell of a lot of tanks. Blitz, manpower blitz. I guess at the right time they were able to. Uh, he was able to keep on calling. You should see three v three. Ouch! Sniper's I thought we were going to see an annihilate victory. That would have been interesting, but uh, looks like they're not going to notice this forward HQ. Yeah, I think uh, some blow. And yeah, Panther has heavy crush. I don't know. Maybe it was the veterancy, but I think it had it with no vet yeah, veterans. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it had heavy crush. I think the problem was that some bloke never got fireflies. Um, never was able to get enough anti. He was never able to enough get enough anti tank. And unfortunately, why build a Sherman? I have no idea, Rogers. What were you thinking, man? After all the chats that we have, why did you build the Sherman? Just, what was the point? <laughs> Weren't you just better off oh, getting like look at look at the field support truck guns. take it off? Like, okay, screw this. I don't care about the war. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> He's going for the off map point. <laughs> Charge! Charge! These guys are lucky because because of the patch f up. That uh, we were actually able to shout cats this game. Oh yeah, which I'm pretty happy about. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Very, that was pretty decent, yeah, especially the Axis players playing a little crummy early, and then they just rallied and picked, you know, 
really nice strategy to counter what was going on there. The Allies were relying too heavily on uh, on Rangers and Piots to do all their anti-tank for them. As, as we've just noticed, uh, bazookas can take out one or two tanks, but when you drop it with, like, ten tanks Russian and they're heavy tanks, I mean, you got Tiger, King Tiger, Triple Vet, Panzer IV, and Panther. When that stuff charges your base, Rangers ain't going to stop shit. You really need AT guns to, uh, even then, with Blitz, I don't know if that's possible. Yeah, and with all the Stukas. Uh, Firefly. That was yeah. just the only way. That really was what we probably Firefly could have used. Firefly to back up, up everything. I mean, even a even a Sherman thrown in there would have helped, but, uh, he, you know, Sticky Bombs also would have helped. He didn't have really have any any uh, riflemen that all I just used in Rangers the whole game once he got access to them. Yeah, Sticky Bombs. Yeah, too much Rangers spam. Just not enough solid AT options, and likewise, the Axis made too many tanks and didn't invest in enough. I'm just surprised that they were able to break through. I think uh, some bloke, don't ever build those two 17-pounders uh, in that location again, please. They were I, I don't know what the hell the point of that was. The AT guns, uh, you said? The 17-pounders on the right. Yeah, the 17-pounders. I, mean, I mean, yeah, okay, it protected his base. A little bit. Not really, <laughs> as we saw. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, just that was, I think that, that that was probably hurting him in pop cap for a big portion of the game. Definitely, like you said, sticky bombs and uh, less commandos, less throwing away gliders left and right. It was fun to watch, but you know better than that. That wasn't going to be very effective. Although it was pretty funny watching the uh, you know the ballerina pan panthers in the center trying to uh, make it back <laughs> to their base and just basically doing 360 twirly spins. Over <laughs> that was awesome. I don't know. Are they ballerinas or are they like uh, ice dancers? What do they call those? Or drunken sailors. <laughs> one or the other. <laughs> yeah, that too. All right. I think we got to close this one out. Thanks, everybody, for tuning yeah. in to yet another exciting episode of Tales of Heroes right here on the Game Fire Network. We encourage you to check out the on-demand system and the blogs and all the other stuff we got on the website there, the forums, etc. If you're hoping to watch this in a better window, check out the on-demand system when you're watching the movie in the little tiny screen there. Underneath that, where you can vote on the video within the on-demand system, there's an orange button called pop-up video. That opens a medium-sized window. It's the difference between uh, full screen versus small. So check that out if you want a better option for viewing it at home. But you can always download it at the podcast. Check out the podcast fact we got located at the top of our webpage under FAQs and uh, learn more about podcasting. It'll really help you make the experience of watching Tales of Heroes more enjoyable. Like me, I put it on my iPod. I get to watch it. Be crazy egotistical. It's awesome. All right, guys, signing off for Vittensby. I am Bridger. Have a great night. <laughs>